This snowflake topic video is one in a series that I've made in preparation for the Snowflake Snow Pro Core Certification Exam. It is an overview video with information about a few basic concepts about Snowflake. If you haven't yet watched my introduction video, I really recommend that you watch it first so that you can get the most out of these topic videos. The Snowflake multi-cluster shared data architecture has three layers, the cloud services layer, compute resources layer, which is sometimes called the virtual warehouses layer, and the hybrid columnar storage layer. The services and storage layers are multi-tenant. Snowflake was built from the ground up for the cloud and allows multiple users to concurrently share live data. Snowflake's processing engine is native SQL. When setting up a new Snowflake account, a customer will need to choose the cloud infrastructure provider, a Snowflake edition, and a geographic deployment region. A customer doesn't have to have a pre-existing account with AWS or Microsoft Azure in order to set up a Snowflake account. And when choosing a geographic deployment region, a customer will want to consider the proximity to the point of service and the number of availability ones within a region. Snowflake accounts can't span more than one region, and different editions of Snowflake instances do require separate accounts. One final basic concept is about the Snowflake Information Schema, which is also known as the Data Dictionary. The Snowflake Information Schema topics use the word catalog in place of database in order to maintain compatibility with the ANSI standard. The Snowflake Information Schema provides extensive metadata information about the current Snowflake objects in an account, but not about dropped objects. Unlike the Information Schema, though, the Account Usage View includes records for all objects that have been dropped. An additional deleted column displays the timestamp when the object was dropped. This is an important distinction between the Snowflake Information Schema and the account usage view. You'll find more topic videos on YouTube, and even though some of them have a great deal of information, I've kept all of them under five minutes in length. Most of them average about three and a half minutes or so. I hope you enjoyed this series, and you can always reach out to me on Twitter or LinkedIn and let me know if you have any questions or if I can help you on your Snowflake certification journey. Thanks so much.